to a lad, to a Has had a school project. In the next two weeks, she needs to make a farm. Yeah. But luckily, we had <gasps> some more. A very boring A3 poster frame. Read it. This is the third craft we've made out of poster frames now. You can find these other two in the description wow. above. Um, and this one we have turned into, not any farm, Eliza's World Farm. Uh -huh. Yes guys, she's brought you with her. Show farm. you how to make this boring A3 poster into this farm. And we'll show you all that in this video right now. Let's go! For these types of projects, I like to use the Poundland A3 poster frames. They're great for keeping um, this kind of thing nice and sturdy. I keep the plastic front. For this project, I'm going to be cutting part of that up, but I have used them before in other projects too. Um, once everything's stripped off, I put the frame back on and then secure it with a little bit of hot glue around the sides just for that extra sturdiness. For the farmhouse, we began by wrapping a small box in parcel paper and covered the sides to hide the folds. Using a lid from another box, I found the center and then folded it in half to form the roof. I secured onto the base with hot glue. I'm gonna add a window right here. And then I got these windows right here. I decided these for right here too. So that needs to reach the very bottom of it, curling it up. And if you guys can't see, right now can you see it, it's like reaching the bottom. These are by the way stickers. So I'm gonna do that so you guys can see it. I'm gonna choose this door. There. So, there. I cut up some pieces of sponge into brick shapes so Eliza could sponge paint the farmhouse. What we can do, if we start from the bottom, we'll put a bit of paint, dip it in and just dab off the excess because we don't want it to get too slimy. And then we do that one. That's one brick, okay. and then alternate with this one, and we can do. I remember we've done that at school two before, bricks. so I'm gonna put two there and two there, and we've got spare ones if those bricks get messed. That's right. And now, what am I going to do? Yes, I am going to stick that there. Do that, and then I'm going to flip it onto the other side, and do that. I painted the roof with brown paint, and drew in the cement with white acrylic pen. In all the gaps. We're going to add the cement later. We used a craft matchbox for the pigsty and I used the inside of the matchbox as the actual pen itself and then with the outside of the matchbox I cut it along one length into two halves 
I stuck one half to make the wall and just secured that with hot glue. To make the inside of the base of the pigsty I used some burlap and just secured that with prick stick. And then I attached the um, roof to it as well. Eliza didn't want to paint this part of the project. She wanted to keep it so it looked wooden. So for the pond, I'm going to cut out a pond shape um, with some really thick cardboard and Eliza's going to colour that pond in for me and meanwhile I'm going to make some rocks and other accessories out of polymer clay. I really enjoy this and right now I'm actually talking but we got the camera to only focus on, on the board. I'm now just making the rocks for around the farm, around the pond. Um, some of the rocks are going to be flat because you want the ducks to be able to get in and out. Some are going to be small rocks like this and others are going to be big chunky rocks. See, this, mar the, this marker that I'm using is only used for outlining. That's right. So I can't colour it in with it. No. I feel like if I touch it over here, it's going to probably stain my fingers. So I'm just going to very lightly do this. The acrylic paint markers, um, as you can see, the acrylic paint markers to colour in the pond. I just did the outline because I felt like <laughs> oh, I should have went with the dark blue for the outline, but never mind. Get these two. First, I'm gonna go with brown, and when um, the brown is dried, I'm gonna go and put some tiny bits of silver on top of the brown. Okay. So I'm going to put the silver over there. Because brown's like a dark colour. Oh, this is really good mud colour. Well, that's why it's best to do all the pieces, I think, for separately. Mm -hmm. But instead of sticking it down, you can get a perfect one you want. Okay, there's one fish. It'll look great when it's painted. <laughs> what do you think of the duck? Like that. The duck. Oh, that's good. I would have been able to do that. I would be able to. Of course you would. It's that good. Well, why don't it you want like making a duck then? Yep, yeah, after this pond Okay. That's more eggs because we've got to that's what something we're gonna make on this farm. I'm eggs. gonna make a little pond. Duck I'm eggs. just gonna make, try and make a nest. Okay, but that's cool. So now the pond has been coloured in and we've made these items, we're going to pop them in the oven um, for about 10 minutes to bake and then cool down before painting. Yay! More painting! So I've asked Eliza where she wants to put the items in the farm and then I'm just kind of sketching it out roughly because that can change as we start to put things in. Um, we're going to be using some thick card to use as the soil area and we're using craft soil or I think you can use coffee grinds for this part of the craft as well. Can you get the brush and help me spread it around? We don't want it too thin. So we're just going to move them all over. Yeah, just want to make sure every bit is covered in glue. And we're going to sprinkle. sprinkle it all over. Okay, can you guess what we're going to do next? Um, tip it upside down. Go on then. Just have a look how our field looks. Nice. There's just some little pieces. Okay, so let's sprinkle the, the corners. 
Mm. I'm just gonna. Can you see I'm scratching it all into every corner with my please. fingers? Oh, I've got to be careful. In the run-up to Easter, Poundland had these grass rolls. I think they were supposed to be used as table runners, but I've used them in all sorts of crafts and I'm so grateful that I've stocked up on them. So I'm just cutting out the part for the meadow and drawing around it so that we can put, cut the pond shape out. Um, I've done that with a white chalk pen. Perfect. That's okay. Your job's done. Now okay. you just have to hot glue that down. No, I'm... <laughs> I'm so glad Eliza has faith in me. So now I'm just marking out the area of where the pond is going to finally sit. Um, and if you remember the plastic front that we had from the poster frame, um, I'm going to cut the same shape out very carefully for the pond to give it a kind of 3D water effect. So once the grass is securely in place and I've completely hot glued that down um, and trimmed the edges, I'm going to add in the, um, the yard patches with the, the soil on them um, and then very gently and carefully glue in the plastic um, water effect which Eliza is not keen on. I still don't get it mom. The fence was quite fun to do. We started off by Eliza painting around 50 lollipop sticks from Poundland. We painted them with chalk paint on both sides, then cut in half around 25 of those sticks. It was hard work. So to make the fence shape, I lined out three half-sized lolly sticks um, and added two dots of hot glue to each one and then put two long painted lolly sticks against the sticks horizontally, if that makes sense. I'm sure it does from the images. And we just carried on making those until we'd used all the sticks. Um, we then secured them to the edge of the poster frame, which they secured really, really well. Um, and any times where it was a bit too long, they cut down really easily as well. And we may use the same process to make the fences and gates within the farm as well. had a lot of fun making all the accessories for this farm. For the farm sign, Eliza used some chalkboard contact paper that we've used in another craft before and wrote on with an acrylic pen. For the cute little cart, Eliza used a red acrylic pen and coloured in the inside of a craft matchbox. And then I found four matching uh, buttons to use as wheels and secured them on with hot glue and we put a little bit of twine just in the corner um, of the front so that it could be attached to a, a, um, a toy horse if you wanted to. This was a very cute and easy little project. To make little sacks, I snipped up some burlap into rectangle shapes and hot glued down two edges um, and that's made a lovely little sack shape. Um, with some of them I actually twisted the tops and wrapped some twine around them as well so there was two types of sack. Instead of painting the potatoes, which is going to take forever because they're tiny. We're just going to roll it in there. We're going to roll them on. We're going to throw them all on there. So put them all into the middle. Okay. 
then we just get to roll it over. See? And see how much they're looking like potatoes now with the different yeah. colours on them. We did the same with the with the eggs and the carrots. It was very easy. Smiley face. So then we carried on painting the other items that we'd made out of polymer clay. I painted the stones with a grey acrylic paint first um, and then with a dry brush I painted over some moss effects um, and some of the dirt effects just to kind of make them look real. Um, Eliza meanwhile painted some other realistic items. I wonder if you can guess what those brown things are going to be. Then it was time to bring it all together. So now we're in the process of just bringing everything together as Eliza said. Um, firstly I'm putting the stones out around the pond which will just give us a good idea of how big each paddock or field is going to be. To make the crops I'm using a carrot that I've cut up chunks of from a um, project from Easter and then just gluing um, little domes of that carrot in a line and using leaves um, from the Poundland Topiary Ball as the leaves of the crops. Um, we're just putting in extra fences now and gates uh, for the animals and for the bushes we use that topiary ball again and just pulled off the stems. We've been thrilled to do this, haven't we? Yes. Thrilled means excited, doesn't it? Yeah. I really love this project. This is my farm. Eli e W farm stands for Eliza's World Farm. And <laughs> a smiley face. And this is my farm. So come on in. I'll move the sign out of the way. Let's go check out the crops. These are my crops, you see these are already growing a little, but the, the, these need some more time. These are the ones which have already grown, you can see, they're beautiful. Let's move on to the cows. I'm not a cow, I'm a bull. Never mind, you're still part of the cow family. So guys, now to the pond. Looks like this mummy has a nest and a little fish which is dead, oh no. But she's feeding their babies. This is a swan. I need to pick up the fish at the bottom, but we can't. There's plastic. <laughs> it's supposed to look like water. Looks <laughs> just like a depth to it and it looks like water. These are actually made of clay. Ooh, nice rock. I like standing on this rock. It makes me feel proud. Over to the lamps. This is where we wipe, wipe our dirt. But we, we love it here. <laughs> yeah, let's go to sleep, bro. <laughs> okay, On the roof, what's this? Hi, I'm a rooster. <laughs> it's a it's my vane. weather vane mm. we have. And right here is my card. Pull, pull, pull. Guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. What Give do you think? Give a big thumbs up. And what do you think? Tell us in the comments down below. You can also use emojis to express yourself. Also, check out our Instagram and Twitter. Link in the description below. And bye! bye. Hit, Hit that, that like button, button in the face. And duck, yes. 
please tell us what you're trying to do. We're trying to pick up the fish, but we can't. I'm trying to pick up this plastic. <laughs> Of course. 